I want us to I want to just spend some time uh, sharing with us on how his resurrection affects you and me. So I just titled the message His Resurrection in Me. How does the resurrection of Jesus affect your life and mine today? I want to, you know, there, there's a lot that we can talk about. I want to just uh, uh, address a few areas in which your life and mine is affected because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Number one, I want us to understand that His resurrection attests to our justification. Until we were justified, He would not be raised. Until the price was completed, until you and I were acquitted in the court of heaven, Jesus would not be raised from the grave. But once you and I were justified, once you and I were acquitted in the courts of heaven, once you and I were completely cleared before God and God said, I declare them righteous, I declare them accepted, I declare them forgiven, the case is closed. Then the Bible says he was raised up. He was raised up because of our justification. Number two, how does the resurrection of Jesus affect you and me today? You and I were identified with Christ so that whatever happened to Christ happened to you. And it has a consequence in your life and mine today. And the part I want to focus on is his resurrection. He says, even as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we should walk in newness of life. In other words, you put it in simple, plain terms, be, because he was resurrected, you and I are walk in newness of life. Number three. What does his resurrection mean to you and me today? Now, you listen to this very carefully. It means that we can have his life manifested in our physical bodies. What does that mean? If the life of God, if the Holy Spirit is giving a life to my body, then everything that causes death is driven out of my mortal body. If the life of Jesus is made manifest in my mortal body, then whatever causes death, sickness and disease and infirmities have to be driven out. Number four, how does his resurrection affect you and me? The Bible tells us in Ephesians 1, 19 and 20 that this exceeding great power that God exerts towards us is the same power that he wrought when he raised Jesus from the dead and set him at his own right hand. That means God is saying, the power that I used to raise Jesus from the dead is the same power I'm willing to work in your life. Paul is saying, I want you to understand the greatness of the power that's available for you and me. It's the same power that God used when he raised Jesus up from the dead. What is it in your life today you want God to raise up, resurrect, heal, change, transform? There's more than enough power that God has made available to change that situation. Whether it's a healing in your body, a breaking of bondages, a turning around of life situations, the Bible says, that the greatness of the power that God's made available to you and me is, is the same power that he used to raise Jesus up from the dead. The resurrection power is available for you and me. How does his resurrection affect you and me? We have this blessed hope of resurrection from the dead. Paul teaches us very clearly that a day is coming when we, our mortal, Will put on immortality when we will be raised up from the dead if we are alive at the time of Christ's return for his church in a twinkling of an eye in a moment in the sound of a trumpet Paul writes he says our bodies will be changed and the dead in Christ will also be raised and we will be caught up to meet him in the air and we will have glorified resurrected immortal bodies 
And Paul says, so shall we be ever with the Lord. This is the hope you and I have. What a great hope. His resurrection impacts our lives here on earth. And his resurrection impacts our eternity, affects our eternity.